Richard Louv in his book Last Child in the Woods claimed that our children are probably suffering from nature deficiency syndrome. He also mentioned that our children are increasingly comfortable with their gadgets indoors and avoid being outdoors. This was a germ of the idea when we conceptualized our project Mobile Apps for Climate Change. We strongly believe that technology is here to stay and so are the gadgets in our children's lives. So why not use the very same gadgets to take our children outdoors and allow them to experience nature technologically? So here we are with our three unique mobile apps, iBirds, iButterflies and iTrees, which are part of the iNature Watch initiative of Ladybird Environmental Consulting. These apps are inspired from Audubon Society's e-guides. Each app includes information of about 50 common species that are seen in urban environments. iNature Watch is an environmental citizen science program which encourages city people from all walks of life to learn about their immediate surroundings using our iNature Watch mobile apps. You may agree with us. Nature study doesn't excite everybody. Well, everybody loves nature, but who cares which tree is standing next to my building, which bird is chirping amongst the trees, or which butterfly is flitting on the garden flowers? One of the main reasons is also to do with the lack of information. Even in this digital age, today's natural history information is inaccessible to the common man. One has to either find a good field guide to identify the flora and fauna of their immediate surroundings. or they need to humbly request an expert to help them out the last resort being is ask google baba and we all know how google overwhelms us with an information overdose so most of the people choose to remain ignorant and deprive themselves from the joys of nature study well from now on things will be different each of you will now be empowered with our i nature watch mobile apps which will bring the natural world information to your fingertips isn't that powerful so go ahead and download our mobile apps today you may need an android phone or a tablet to download our apps in the google play store look for ibirds i butterflies and i trees apps and download them once you have downloaded the app this is how you could use it say you see this tree on the road side and now you are trying to figure out if our i trees mobile app could help you with the identification let's check out you click the app thumbnail which opens into this lovely home screen click on get started and then click explore trees here you could search for the tree in three categories by leaf shape bark type and name so assuming you do not know the name of the tree let's look for the nearest leaf type for example ovate Well, here there are two trees which fit your match. Check them out. Say we click Banyan, which opens up into the tree information, which mostly includes pictures of leaves, bark, flowers, and fruits. Browse the pictures and see if you could identify the tree completely. If yes, great. Click on the top right symbol to record your sighting. But before that, make a note if the tree is shedding leaves or is flowering or fruiting. Besides photographs, the app includes a complete biodata of the species which will help you in understanding them better. If you are connected to the internet, then this link will take you to our project website that is inaturewatch.org. Here you will first need to register yourself. So click new registration, then fill in your details and press enter. Now click on the record sighting tab and open up the tree data logger. Here you will feed in the data in the following given format where most of the information is inbuilt. Besides filling up the data, you also need to log in the weather data which you could collect from the weather channel website. Let me demonstrate one for you. Once your data sheet is complete, submit it. The data gets recorded under your name in our records. Go back to the slider menu of iTree and now click on about trees. Here we are provided with all the information about trees such as forest types, diversity of trees, pollination and so on. 
There are altogether 13 topics covered here. This section acts like the Wikipedia on trees. So while you're on the move and you need to know about certain information pertaining to a certain tree, this offline app will still do a decent job on knowledge identification and providence so that you may not need any other resource. Say you want to know about tree identification, click on the tab and read through. Since this app aims at collecting information about climate change on urban trees, we have included a separate section on climate change as well. You may be however wondering how an app like this could provide information about climate change. Here is how you and this app are going to help us in collecting the data. Trees are impacted by changes in weather such as rainfall, humidity and temperature and any variation in these parameters will affect a tree life cycle that is its leaf fall, its flowering or its fruiting. When you and many like you send us the data about a flowering tree of their localities along with the climate data from various locations, we will collect this information and track them for the next 5 years. We are hopeful by then we will have substantial data to let us know if there has been any changes in the life cycle of any particular tree species and also whether any of the climatic parameters has to do anything with this. Well, enough of serious and boring stuff. Let's have some fun now. Click the fun with trees section and take the tree quiz or play the memory game. Try on. Hope you have enjoyed our iTree app. Explore our other two apps as well, that is iButterflies and iBirds, which have a similar format. However, there are additional bird calls and life history videos of butterflies included in these separate apps as well, which we are confident you will love. It may happen that you may find a species which may not be included in our database. In such cases, click us a picture and send it to us. Our experts on the website will help you with the identification. So friends, with launch of these mobile apps, we are initiating our citizen science program Urban iNature Watch Challenge among schools of Mumbai, Hyderabad, Kolkata and New Delhi wherein we hope to develop 3,000 students citizen scientists who will send out data on urban birds, butterflies and trees. The schools which send maximum data records will be declared as winner of Urban iNature Watch Challenge from each city. Besides schools, all nature enthusiasts from urban areas are also encouraged to take on this challenge and together we will explore our urban biodiversity. If we do not know what we have, then who will care to save it? So, are you ready to become a citizen scientist? <laughs>